Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is not Foundry VTT. This is Chat GPT. To be more precise, it's the paid for version, Chat, Chat GPT 4. Um, because using this, we can generate images. That's why I'm here. Uh, and I thought I would have it have a little play with it myself. Um, but why, why am I playing with this? Why have I got what I've got on the board? So in the previous video, we were sort of looking at and building our wayside rest um whatever i called it <laughs> i've forgotten already <laughs> um and we were talking about the basement now mr defaulty uh made the comment i think slightly tongue-in-cheek about the original the butcher from the original diablo um, computer game uh, which just shows the age of our audience because <laughs> that's going back some i loved that game that original one uh so i thought yeah what a great idea well, here's an opportunity to potentially create our own creature completely unique for us so i'm in chat gpt as i said uh i'm right at the very top of this particular request um Please draw me a picture of a bloated demonic being that eats humans. He carries a large meat cleaver in one hand and has horns on his head. That's all I asked. And I thought, let's just see what it does. And it came up with this image straight off the bat. I like that. And I'm going with that. It's like, yeah, perfect. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, and then I said, yep, the picture is good. I'm happy with it. Uh, we're going to call it the butcher. So whenever I use the term butcher in future, it's going to know that I'm talking about that image. I then said, can you? And I, I just old man brain here can you design a monster for D, &D 3.5 i mean <laughs> going back a bit in it <laughs> i mean bearing in mind i'm a red box player okay i had one of the original red boxes back a long time ago um so i accidentally asked it for 3.5 i want a monster to statistic blocks to match the image of butcher uh, and then wanted it be a challenge rating of five and it did it and it's got and i was reading through it and i was thinking this is really good oh hang on a minute it's a couple of things that are a bit quirky why is it talking about it's got feats of power attack and cleave improved sunder um and there was a few bits it was just like this is not quite right i'm gonna have to manually adjust this and then i realized what i had done by asking it to do 3.5 so i just asked it to do it again well that's nice uh can, can you now design a monster for fifth ed i want it to match the image of the butcher it needs to be challenge rating five so i asked it the same question and now it's come up with this so we've got a medium fiend a demon chaotic evil perhaps not surprising armor class of 16 all from natural armor 85 hit points so much less armor than the 3.5 edition one but a lot more hit points it's given us a stat block saving throws some damage resistance in here uh, damage immunities now this is bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. That's that's pretty... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, can't be poisoned. Dark vision, not surprised. Uh, it speaks abyssal and has telepathy. Uh, and it's given us some traits. A fear aura, which makes sense. Uh, magic resistance, advantage on saving throw against spells. Uh, magic weapons. So he, the butcher's weapon counts as magic. It has multi-attack um, with its cleaver plus seven to hit for 2d8 plus four and then it has a bite attack as well that it can use and it has this rend ability so it's generated all this for us and it's actually given us a description for it and everything uh, free feel free to adjust the stat block um, so I might need to adjust the stat block but I thought what would be fun is to let's use this Let's stick it in there as an option. So I'm going to create this as an NPC. Um, now, one of the challenges we've got, of course, is in Foundry, not all of our mods are working yet. And some of those mods are the ones that bring in a lot of the D&D &D, um, abilities that for automation won't work. OK, so if, if you remember a few videos ago, we look at Chris's pre-maids and we look at Gambit's pre-maids to bring in some of those abilities so that they automated better. We haven't got access to those yet because they're not updated in version 12. So we'll make it knowing that we might have to update those later on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump over to Foundry and I'm going to have a go at that. And uh, I'll get back to you once I've got something. Okay, so I've popped over to Foundry and here we are. I have created the butcher. Now we're missing a lot of our 
uh, add-ons and mods and things to uh, to make this really nice and easy and move really smoothly through this process so i've had to do this from scratch the old way <laughs> the hard way um all i've got access to at the moment because i've only gained this is my version 12 testing world um where i've just been building stuff we've only got levels in here um and wall height so i don't have all of those wonderful things with those extra abilities that i'm specifically talking about chris's pre-mades uh, and gambits as well by the way quick update gambit's been staying in touch um, which is absolutely brilliant he while i mentioned in the previous video that the um the attack of opportunity template thing has been looked at and fixed so if you're on version 11 still that still works he has confirmed that there will be a version 12 of that as well which is fantastic um go buy him a coffee guys <laughs> and the other developers all right all of these other modders and uh, go buy them coffee if you can because they're doing an absolute brilliant job now the slight hold up for gambit doing his is he's very much dependent on dfreds um, so he needs to see what happens with dfreds before then he can um, continue development for his version 12 version so this is one of the challenges that these guys have got is their mod might be dependent on something else and then they've got to wait for them but then that mod might be dependent on something else so they're all kind of interlinked especially when we talk about any of these ones to do with automation uh in the last video i said oh maybe it's to do with uh, midi qol but actually that's not the issue it's dfreds in the, in that case right anyway off track again always happens doesn't it well, it does when I'm involved. So I have created the butcher. All I did is I went up to my actors and I literally went create actor and created a non-player character um, and slapped him in. I've added a picture and literally from my chat GPT page, um, I've just gone through and added these. So from the SRD, um, I've selected monster features and I found bite. Um, I have found fear aura. I have found multi-attack magic resistance. Uh, and I've all I've done is update these. So I changed this to make sure that this is correct. We've got the correct description in uh, and updated the damage to make sure it matches what chat GPT made for us. Uh, for fear Aura, I changed that. Now the Fear Aura that came from the SRD had a much higher, had a 21 wisdom save. Um, chat GPT reckons we want 13 which I think is a bit better for a CR 5 so I've dropped that we've got multi attack we've copied across and magic resistance so all I've just pulled those across from here now the only two I had to do something with is I actually I used the pole arm as a basis to create the cleaver because there was no cleaver in there uh, and of course it's you know it's being made up for this purpose I preferred that picture um, I was going to use great axe but actually I preferred that picture from the pole arm for the cleaver and the only one that's not in the SRD at all is rend which is why it doesn't have an image now I'm pretty sure rend was in I think it was in Chris's premates but of course we don't have access to that at the moment so I've just slapped this in um, I've made it as a special if I go to my chat here um, I should be able to make a bite attack there we go there's our normal attack roll stuff remember we've got no automation uh, we've got a 27 ouch uh, we've got the correct attack bonuses there uh, and we've got our damage of course which is going to work we don't even have dice so nice installed dice so nice is working by the way i just haven't got it installed uh, i've got my cleaver here as well so i can do my attack with my cleaver there's no reason why none of this should work 25 um, and then we should be able to do damage for that without any drama Yep, and it's asking me to apply, but of course I've got no token selected. Uh, so with Rend, all I did is I put that on there. So the idea is, is that um, if it strikes with its bite and its cleaver, then it gets Rend. Um, and I've just got this. When I click it, you see it doesn't ask for an attack roll because it's automatic. I just roll the damage and of course we apply that to the token. So this is 100% functional, even though we don't have any automation in there. Um, I just copied across the description that uh, ChatGPT gave us. We've got no effects on because we haven't got any of that stuff going. No spellbook. We've just got these features and I updated all the attributes. Uh, and I just, I just did this all manually. Now we know Stat Block Importer is really, really useful for bringing this stuff in if it's in a format that works. Uh, I suspect I could have used that and that has been updated it is available but I wanted to do it the old ways just to make sure um, don't want to lose those skills 
<laughs> when we use too many modules to to automate and do stuff for us i forget how to do some of the basic stuff so it's always nice to come back and go i'm going to build it right from scratch just on paper well in digital paper uh, so we now have this npc called the butcher he exists in our game and we can use him have i tweaked him yet no should i tweak him probably um but if i wanted i can just slap him down here and there we go the butcher is ready to rock and roll um it was that easy chat gpt create me a creature create me an image create me a monster to go with it bring it over just put those stats into foundry and we've got a completely new monster that is unique I mean, it might be very similar to other things, but it's unique from our point of view. And a good thing about unique stuff is we made it, we can use it, I can share it with you if I want to, um, which is which is good. And some of the other stuff out there, you, you know, you just got to be careful about sharing other people's stuff without permission. Um, but this is mine, I can share it if I want to. So um, what I need to do, of course, is put a little bit of meat. No, no pun intended, meet around this kind of idea and this concept, perhaps create a, a journal entry or two to go with it. And while this dude might be uh, hanging around down here in the dungeon for whatever reason, uh, we need more NPCs actually running this uh, and maybe one or two travellers, you know. Um, and I'm not going to tell you how to run this encounter because it's going to be your encounter if you choose to use it at all. But what I suspect I will have is I will have kind of a husband and wifey type of team, uh, maybe with one of their, you know, a slightly odd child who hangs around the place, mostly gathers firewood and stuff like that, who's just a little bit off. Uh, and then I might have um, another guest or two that are staying in the inn and then one of them just vanishes. Uh, and the next morning it's a case of, you know, while they're eating their breakfast of sausages, um, it kind of comes to light that this other traveller has just vanished. And it's like, oh, yes, they left really early. And then there'll be a few clues around that would suggest that, hang on a minute, if they left early, why have they left that bag behind or something really obvious like well why is their horse still tied up outside or what well, the evening before they said that they were gonna they were waiting for the weather to clear but they apparently have gone without waiting for the weather to clear you know that kind of stuff just to make the party a little bit suspicious and again it does not matter if they go oh, well it sounds like a him problem and just bugger off to their next you know carry on with their journey that's absolutely fine um they can might just use this and not actually engage but it'd be nice to have you know have something for them to do here you know a little bit of investigation and then we've got a big big bad guy already right i've rambled again always rambling uh i'm going to end this video here just a little update really uh, mostly on just how to use chat gpt uh, and that we can use that to create stuff and then stick it in our games um nice of course I am using ChatGPT4, which is a paid-for version. You know I prefer free stuff, but if you want it to do images, you have to be do using the ChatGPT4. You have to pay for it if you want it to do images at this point. So there we go. Uh, of course, you don't have to use images that are original. You can take any from the internet that you like. You can use them. I just can't. Anyway, that's enough. Take care. See ya.